So here's my update. It's May 19th. So I know everything's late. Definitely way later than I wanted to be at this point. But this is the way everything's played out. So you can roll with things sometimes. And the whole garden has fabric laid out on it. And this is a really thick, and you can see it's, gosh, I'd almost say a quarter inch thick. If you're not squishing it, quarter inch thick, eighth inch thick if you do. But uh, landscaping fabric, and it's used, so there's some things like that wear mark there that I just have to deal with. I see maybe I'll plant something at that spot or maybe I'll cover it, work around it. So you can see there's some imperfections, but uh, someone was nice enough to share this with us, so it's not anything I'm worried about. This is for the, especially for the quality. So I've got some overlap. The boards are holding down the edges and there overlap there's overlap here that'll come out and that'll follow the the edge of the garden here and you can see the space in between the onion rows of the onions these are ones that planted last year and didn't harvest and that's the same thing with those chives and they're obviously thirsty so I'll get to that after but now there's the gap there this side the fabric comes right up to the edge of the row and then it was since it like again it was used so there's a pre cut out going that way a bit more so that's where you see that fold and this fabric will fold over that whole open space once I, I harvest these onions and that will make it so that it's totally covered and the same thing here on this side you can see it's just a real thin spot and then I'll have this spot of fabric folded over to overlap there. That way the seams are covered. Since I had enough to do the whole thing with an overlap, that's the way I chose to do it. Just want to make sure that I can reduce as many weeds as possible and that with the comfrey I've just cut a slit in the fabric and wrapped that around the base of the bunch of comfrey so now I can water even overhead watering and not worry about all of the weeds that are going to come up except for just around the openings like right here and there between so I've gone through and and I hand weeded and, and trimmed with the some garden trimmers and scissors everything in between the onion rows so I can lay down some boards in between to help reduce that since I have boards and that's something I don't, I don't have wood chips but that will help reduce somewhat the weed growth until those are harvestable, like they're harvestable anytime 